Hello there, my Gemini Collective. I hope you're having a wonderful day. What's up, Geminis? Here you can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring, ring, ring. Oh, Geminis. What's going on with your energy, Geminis? What's up? God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical against me shall prosper. I'm highly favored and protected from all evil, as is my beautiful Gemini collective. Now, Geminis, we got the chariot and the ace of pentacles. So, this is blessings coming in, and this is Archangel Michael protecting those blessings. So, I like that. I like that, Geminis. So, keep keep focusing. Whatever you got going on. Six of Swords. With that Ace of... Yeah, it's like you're going to go right into it. Six of Swords. When you just kind of heal yourself. Convalesce. Take it easy, right? It's the journey, not the destination sometimes. Right? Or even as you're reaching your destination. you got to enjoy the journey. Take a little bit of time. Definitely could be some travel. What you have for Gemini's? That's some good energy there, Gemini's. Bottom of the deck is a Six of Wands. <sighs> oh, this is the Ten of Swords. Endings, New Beginnings. Seven of Swords from the Lessons Learned. Eight of Swords energy. Oh, what is up with all this Swords energy, Gemini? Learning to become unstuck. Uh... Between the Ten of Swords and the Seven of Swords, we got the... There you are, Gemini. Okay, you showed up. So, oh, look at that beautiful energy. Nine of Swords. That's not your energy, though. Five of Cups. Geminis. What? That, that ain't your energy. Above that is the Ace of Swords. Three of Swords. Oh, my God. Now, this is an air sign reading, so the fact we got all the Swords makes sense. Three of Cups. 133 could mean something. Over that, you got this uh, King of Pentacles energy. <laughs> Gemini, what the fuck? <laughs> I, I don't feel like this is your energy, Gemini. You got someone that's just stuck going through this sort of loop-to-loop uh, -loop energy. 389 could mean something. 983 could mean something. I don't know what the fuck, but this is some shit. It's like someone's just on that fucking loop-to-loop. -loop. Loop I don't feel that's your energy. I think you're focusing. Because that's you at the center of the spread. That's Seven of Wands, right? Uh, You're good. You're also like, get the fuck away from me with that shit energy, too. I like that, Geminis. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Well, we can't forget about the Five of Cups energy, huh? Ooh, look at that. Someone is really going through it. And you like, get the fuck away from me with that energy. Uh, I think you have cut people off. You have definitely been cutting people out of your life. Ah, uh, yeah. Transformation energy, Geminis? Ten of Swords? That feels like severing severing the ties, severing the connection. Uh, this gives me that Nisi Nash uh, vibe. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. What am I holding in my hand? Oh, King of Pentacles energy. Bottom of the deck is a Six of Wands, Ace of Wands, Five of Wands, Conflict Resolution. You're really good at conflict resolution. But you get it by just kind of sitting still. Kind of sitting still. You already know you're holding that sort of Ace of Pentacles energy. You're good. Con beautiful conflict resolution. 
uh, whatever you got going on, right? That five of wands there plus that ace of wands goes to the six of wands. That's conflict resolution. And a lot of you are getting it by staying the fuck away from energy that just sucks. You're like, get the, get the, get that nasty ass energy away from me. Mm. You're doing a lot here, Gemini's. I like that. Keep that up. Keep, keep on that tra Keep on that trajectory. Hold on a minute. Gemini's. Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands to the Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Wands to the Three of Pentacles. Those of you with work could be getting new contracts to the Page of Wands. Uh, once things start going, it's going to be kind of like accelerated. Things are just really going to start paying off to bring in that balance. King and Queen of Pentacles, that feels like the twins kind of coming in together. Uh, we brought up, was it, uh, I think it was you guys, 69, right? Yeah, watering energy. Loving yourself. Definitely make sure you're drinking plenty of water. Yeah, that King and Queen of Pentacles just feels like you, Gemini's. The two twins working in conjunction. So keep that sort of fluidity, that yin and yang. Good business opportunities. Some of you could actually win something. You could be at the right place at the right time. So if you're out and there's like sweepstakes or some shit like that, and it's, you know, if they have shit that you ain't even got to pay for, you know, you just kind of sign your name up for it. Some of y'all do that because someone could be getting a nice little win, a nice little vacation. Because that's totally what I feel with that. You definitely got some good energy, good conflict resolution around you too, Gemini's. But it feels like stay in that King of Pentacles energy. You already know you got the Ace of Pentacles. So you can kind of breathe easy. But it's just, you know, gaining that interest. Karmic interest. Financial interest. Whatever the fuck it is, right? Anything else for Gemini? What do you got from the Angel deck? For my Gemini Collective. Okay, we got the Wheel of Fortune. We got the Page of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, and the Death card. I'm wanting to say death benefits, but uh, yeah, that don't sound too good. <sighs> but you had that ten of swords. Uh, you got a great opportunity. You got a great opportunity. Some of them, the page of swords, ten of pentacles. So that you're going to come up with a really good idea, a really good partnership, a really good uh, uh, business plan. That's going to just switch things up. This almost feels like rebranding. Actually. Rebranding or like a course correction energy. Because here's that Wheel of Fortune. Whatever the hell it is, it's going to be good. What's that Death Card energy? Six of Pentacles. Rebranding. Changing things up, looking at things a little differently. That page of wands is the six of cups. So we don't have the lovers out here, but you got the six of pentacles and the six of cups. Going back to what you originally loved, uh, things are going to pay off. Hidden things are going to pay off, uh, actually, Gemini. So some of you, if you do uh, like sweepstakes or shit like that, uh, especially, you know, uh, if it's just like putting your name on something, putting your name into a raffle or a drawing or some shit like that, uh, it's like you're going to get a night, you're going to be in the right place at the right time for a lucky opportunity. Do I think it's like a major thing? No, but it's still going to be like a, a blessing. A blessing. This does feel like a rebranding, though. That death card there, that six of pentacles, that ten of pentacles with the will of fortune. It's like rethinking the will. It's the same thing, but it's just rethinking the will. Uh, the will. Death benefits, too. I don't know where the fuck that, or how the hell that would factor in. Someone could be looking into it. That's not going to be for everybody. Six of Pentacles, Will of Fortune with the Six of Cups. Go back to what you love. Fucking Ten of Cups, Gemini's. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. 
The Wheel of Fortune in between with the sixes flanking it. Ooh, you can't get much better than that. Yeah, that Death Rebirth just feels like rebranding. Um, rebranding. Uh, re maybe some of y'all gonna get your face resurfaced, right? Gonna do some laser work. Um, endings, new beginnings. The Tower, a positive energy, blessings from passed over loved ones, karmic blessings, with the Knight of Wands, Page of Wands to the Knight of Wands, so Death in the Tower and the Six of Pentacles, that's still giving me that sort of passed over blessing, like, like, Death, sort of, death, uh, or, um, ancestral blessings. Ten of Pentacles, Will of Fortune with the, well, the Will is ten. Triple tens here. Uh, with the Ten of Cups. Right place, right time. Page of Wands, Six of Cups to the Knight of Wands. Going back to what you love. This is tapping into your your sort of uh, roots, tapping into that sort of uh, power energy. Ten of Pentacles with the Ten of Cups, that Will of Fortune. Um, ten chapters, ten versions, ten episodes, ten thousand. Uh, I don't know what the fuck it is. You're tapping into some very beautiful energy. Ah. <sighs> Death card, the will card to the Knight of Wands. That transformation energy. Uh, Page of Wands, Will of Fortune to the Tower card. That sort of change up in energy. Because it all culminates. The center of your reading is this Will of Fortune. Six of Pentacles to the Six of Cups. Down to that Will of Fortune energy. So, some of you expect just some unexpected blessings if you're out and you can like sign up for a free raffle or something do it i don't care if it's free fucking dinner or drinks or some shit right uh i feel like you're gonna have some luck you're just gonna have some unexpected luck some of you definitely some good business opportunities so just stay focused on that go back to what normally or what you normally loved you're it's rebranding energy but you're rebranding and basically what you used to do. You know what I mean? Like the more things change, the more they stay the same type energy. <clears throat> rebranding. Yeah, you got 10, 10, 10. 10 of Pentacles, Will of Fortune with the 10 of Cups, babies. So there you go. That right there is hitting the jackpot. I do feel like unexpected blessings... Passed over loved ones, ancestral blessings, and good communication. So those of you that write, go back to writing. And writing could be whatever it is, right? Writing code, writing books, writing music, writing screenplays, whatever the fuck it is. Oh, with all this one zero energy, ten, ten, ten energy, some of y'all could be coders. Video game energy. Yeah, because that Six of Pentacles there and that Six of Cups is giving me like, um, um, oh my God, the race, the race tracks, right? What, what's the, um, oh, the Kentucky Derby. Now I know that's past, but it's like that luck energy. It's like that luck energy. Obviously, don't spend any money, but, you know, if you can fill out for some free raffles or some shit, just fucking do it. Or maybe if you like to go out to a bar that does, like, some sort of competition type thing, sign up. Maybe you'll get a free fucking dinner, right? Uh, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Gemini's, I think just a nice little bit of luck coming towards you. Stay positive. You can ring my bell, ring my bell, ring -a -ring -a -ring. and I did know 
it was 14.44 on the clock when I said that. You were that seven of wands, though, so just be mindful of the energies. Don't tap into some toxic shit. Stay happy. Stay positive. Unexpected luck. Unexpected blessings. Maybe rebranding. Going back to what you love. Um, it's going to work, right? The more things change, the more they stay the same. Is that a song? The more things change. Yeah, it, I can't even think of the song. You got this, Geminis. Thank you for that energy. Peace, love, and light. 